Hi, I'm Peter Kellenstrom of Kellenstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about the Gantt view. To create that view, you go into the Library tab, click the Create View button, or of course you can go on this little drop-down down here and create a view, or in Library Settings, at the very bottom, you can create a new view. Whichever way you choose, you get into this selector where you can select the type of view. You get the standard view, the calendar view, the datasheet view, and the Gantt view, which is the one I'll be talking about right now. So I'm selecting the Gantt view, and the Gantt view is, of course, as the in image shows here, a um, list and then a view of all the times of all your documents. So I'm going to name this view the Gantt, and then I'm going to select just a few columns. Actually, I don't want the type icon. That's rather meaningless. The name, for some reason, that doesn't work there. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to remove all this. And I'll use the name for using forms, and then I'll use the edit. So I'll make that a number one. And I can leave the name for using forms as number 22, because that's going to be the next one visible. Then I'll select the Gantt column. And those are, of course, the title. And uh, as you see, I can't use the name there, so I'm going to use the title, which is empty by default in a document library. So that's going to create a problem, but I'll solve that soon. And then I'll have the quote date and the decision date as um, my start date and due date. And I don't have any values for percent complete and predecessors in this case. So I'm just going to click OK. And as you'll notice, the name field didn't show up there. So I'm going to go and uh, add a column there. So I'm going to have to modify this and show the title instead. So the name for use in forms doesn't work either. So let's put the title there and just do that. And now you get the title, but of course the title is empty. So now I have to fill out the title field. And that's something you really should do for all document libraries, but it is somewhat tricky. So in a later demonstration, I will give you a, a workflow that does that for you automatically. So I'm going to display the title field, and I'll put that as number three. And then just fill that out. And here it's just easy to do that. Uh, if I will just go into the quick edit view, I can just copy these uh, file names um, into the title field. That works just fine. So stop that. There we go. And now when I go into the Gantt view, you'll see that it picks up the quote one, two, three. And here I can see the time flow or the Gantt view of my documents. So that concludes my demo on how to create a Gantt view in SharePoint 2013 on Office 365. Thank you for watching.